Hello and welcome to this gratitude yoga practice. My name is Bettina Ray. Thank you for joining me here. Here on my channel, I share things, all things yoga to do with fertility, pregnancy, early motherhood, and I also share little bits and pieces of our life as well. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give me a like. I really appreciate it. So why a gratitude yoga practice? Can I tell you a secret? The last few days I have been in the foulest mood ever. Nothing happened. There was no big drama or event. It was just regular, I will say mundane because sometimes life is a little mundane when you're a mum. But really nothing to complain about. Total first world problems. I really have, like I said, <laughs> I've got nothing to complain about. And yet I found lots of things to complain about. And so this practice is for those days when you're just feeling blah, when you're feeling like you're looking for constant distraction, but nothing is helping. Cause that's where I was yesterday trying to watch Netflix, but everything was boring and horrible. And that was one of my things to add to my complaints list. <laughs> so let's do a practice today to kind of get us out of that mood. I am feeling better today and I have to admit gratitude is the thing that pulls me out because when you take the time to be like okay i'm really grateful for this 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 and this you realize that life is really not as bad as you've been creating in your head so hopefully during this practice we can kind of physically shake the stuff out of our body but also use the gratitude practice to mentally shake it out as well so obviously this practice today is going to be appropriate for the pregnant body so if you are pregnant you are welcome to join in it's not a pregnancy specific class, however, it is designed for everyone. So if you're not pregnant, you're also welcome to join us. Let's get going. We're gonna to come to tabletop to start, which is just hands underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips. I just want you to feel into your body to start with. So I want you to spread the fingers on the mat because often when we're not feeling grateful and we're kind of feeling blah and disconnected, we're not in our bodies, we're in our head. So the practice is really about getting back into the body. So feel, the ground beneath your hands. Press the knees into the mat, press the tops of the feet into the mat. As you inhale, breathe into the belly, lift the tail, lift the head. As you exhale, round through the back, look towards the thighs. And again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Start to walk the hands forward off the mat or just towards the end of it. Melt the heart down towards the floor. So you might find the chin or the forehead to the floor. So just starting to open up through this space between the shoulder blades, opening up through the heart a little. And then inhale, slowly walk the hands back. Inhale, the right hand to the sky. Exhale, pass it under. Let's thread the needle. So soften the side of the head down, soften the shoulder to the mat, just gently pressing into the floor with this left hand. And then inhale, coming back up. Exhale, release it down, opposite side, inhale. So really working on the shoulders and chest today because often when we're feeling ungrateful and blah, we're quite closed through the heart space. So we want to open up that space today. And then inhale, lift the left hand back to the sky. Exhale, return it down. We're going to sit back to child's pose. If you're pregnant like me, you need to make space for your belly. <laughs> if you don't, you can just keep the knees together and come on down. So soften the forehead down. Arms can be out in front, or if you prefer, you can wrap them around towards the heels. Just soften down here. So stay resting in your child's pose. And while you're there, I would love for you to bring some awareness to your physical body. So where can you be grateful for the physical body, for what it's done for you perhaps, especially if you're pregnant or you've recently had a baby? What it continues to do for you every day, so perhaps how you're able to move and go about your day and do all the things that you want to do. 
Perhaps even just feeling a little bit of gratitude for how you're feeling today. Of course, this might be a little bit tricky if you're feeling really blah in the body and hopefully this practice will help, but just feeling into the body, seeing if you can find even just one tiny thing to be grateful for. Breathing into that feeling. And then slowly walking the hands back up. If your knees were wide, bring them in towards each other. Just interlace the hands behind the back and start to draw the hands down, opening up through the chest. If it feels okay for you, you can look towards the sky. And then releasing the gaze back in front of you, taking the head over to one side, making some space through the neck. And then gently over to the opposite side. Keep drawing the hands down behind you. And then gently release. As you inhale, bring the hands out in front of you and just round through the upper back. Inhale, open. And exhale to round. Inhale to open. Exhale to round. Inhale. And this time as you exhale, bring the hands down onto the low back and just take a really gentle opening through the chest. So again, head and neck can fall behind you. And slowly release it up. We're going to find eagle arms. So I want you to bring the right arm underneath the left, wrap the forearms and find the hands together. Inhale the hands to the sky and then exhale, drop the shoulders down and away. If it feels good, you can tuck the chin. So really stretching through this back of the neck, shoulder area. Inhale, open the chest wide. And as you exhale, bring the left hand under. Hands to the sky, shoulders away from the ears. Tuck the chin if it feels good. Deep breaths into the belly. And then gently releasing the hands, bringing them out in front of you, stepping the left foot forward, just coming to a low lunge and starting to open up through the hips here. Lifting through the chest. And then perhaps lifting that back knee up finding a bit of a twist here. So you'll notice that I'm really opening. There's no pressure on my belly on the leg. If you aren't pregnant, you can bring a little pressure in if it feels good for your digestive system. But otherwise, if you're pregnant, just keep lots of space there. Opening up through the heart. And then exhale, bring that hand back down. Bring the knee back down. Step the foot back, take a little rock from side to side. Remember, we really want to stay in the body, stay out of our head as much as possible. Step the right foot forward. It's coming into the low lunge on this side. So take another moment here. I want you to see if you can feel grateful for the physical things in your life. So not the physical body anymore, but the physical things you enjoy. So it might be that you have a really awesome yoga mat beneath you. It might be that you're wearing something that makes you feel really good. It could be a piece of jewelry. It could be the house that you're currently in. Maybe it's the computer or the phone that you're able to watch this on. They're pretty awesome things. Take a moment to feel grateful for those. Open up into the twist, open the heart, breathe in deeply into the chest. And then exhale, slowly release it down. We're going to walk the hands all the way over this time. Come into our skandhasana. Take a seat down into the leg. Turn the toes up and just really sit into these hips. So our hips often hold a lot of emotions. If we're feeling crappy, we probably are feeling those crappy emotions that are in our hips. So we want to try and let them go a little bit. As you inhale, come up and over to the opposite side, really sitting down in the hamstring as well. Breathing deeply into the belly. And then coming up into a forward fold, 
Bring the hands onto the thighs. Just inhale, lift the chest, so lengthen the chest and the legs. And then exhale and fold. Bring the hands underneath the hips. Let the head rest. Maybe even gently shake it from side to side to release. If you want a little more, you can walk the hands back or just stay with them underneath the chest. It's up to you. And as we take a pause here, we reflect on our relationships. So where are you grateful for the relationships in your life? So maybe it's the relationship you have with your partner. Could be with your kids, with your mom, your best friend. So just call to mind those people in your life that you're really, truly grateful for. Bring the hands back onto the thighs. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale and fold. And again, inhale, lift. Exhale and fold. Inhale and lift. Exhale and fold. Bring the hands down. Weight into the hands so you can come down and take a seat. Bring the feet in front of you. Just cross the legs over, draw the shoulder blades back and down. Taking a few rolls here. As you inhale, take the arms to the sky. Exhale over to one side. Inhale back to the other side. This time make it a little bit bigger. Inhale over. And all the way over to the other side. And then inhale, come up and have a seat. Roll those shoulders back and then forwards. Maybe even get the hands into the neck and give yourself a little bit of a massage. So I know for me, when I'm feeling crappy, just blah and stressed over nothing in particular, I know my shoulders get super tight. My neck gets tight and it ends up in my head. So we wanna try and tell the body it's okay to release, letting go of whatever weird emotions are going on for us right now. When you're ready, just softening those shoulders down. So we're gonna do a little bit of a meditation. You might sit and you could sit against a wall if you like to give you that support to stay upright. You can lie down if you prefer. So just get your body comfortable, whether you're sitting or lying. Take some deep breaths in, softening into your position. So I'd like you to call to mind as you sit or lie in this space, what you would love life to look like. So if you're feeling blah and a bit down and all the rest of it, you're probably focusing on all the things that aren't right. I want you to focus on all the things that would be right or are already right. So it might be what life already looks like in some aspects. So maybe mornings are really peaceful in your house. Imagine those. Perhaps you're imagining the ideal bedtime routine where maybe one day, heaven forbid, <laughs> children actually take themselves bed. So whatever it is, imagine all of these things in your life. So you can take it outside the home as well. So maybe there's work that you'd love to be doing. Imagine that. Imagine yourself in that role. Maybe it's a social life that you're imagining. Maybe you and your partner. Imagine all the things that would make your life ideal. And then take a moment of gratitude to be in this position where you're able to dream about your ideal life. That you have the financial security, that you have the safety, that you have the physical security of your house, of your family, to be able to dream about the ideal and feel grateful to even have that opportunity. And then maybe in feeling this gratitude for your life and its endless possibilities, you could choose one thing to do today that would step you a tiny baby step 
closer to that ideal. So if you were dreaming about that ideal bedtime routine, maybe you can start creating that for yourself. So start creating something beautiful and calming for yourself just before bed. If you were dreaming about that social life, maybe you can reach out to a friend and organize a really simple dinner. One small, tiny thing that you could do today for yourself to start getting a little bit closer to that ideal. Once you've chosen that thing, take a deep breath. Resolve that you will do this one thing today. Feel it in your body as if you've already done it. When you're ready, bring the hands to heart. It's coming here at the end of our practice. And coming here to honor ourselves for showing up for this practice even when we don't feel like it. Because that's the hardest time to make time for yoga is when we really need it. So honoring ourselves for showing up, but also honoring the practice for giving us what we need always when we need it. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for today's class. I hope it has helped maybe a little get you out of your slumpy mood. I know for me, I did a very similar practice to this yesterday afternoon. And when I went into it, I was like, I do not want to do yoga at all. This is like the last thing I feel like doing. And afterwards I was like, ah, oh, that's why I love yoga so much. And it just, I don't know, I forget how good it is. And then I get myself on my mat and I realize and remember again. So hopefully you're feeling a little bit like that as well. Make sure if you haven't already, you subscribe to this channel. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And if you would like more practices like this for all of the stages of motherhood, so whether you are trying to conceive, whether you're pregnant, preparing for birth, or whether you've just had a baby, or whether your baby is five years old or older, you can check out my online yoga circle where there are classes for all of those stages. Enjoy your week, look after yourself, and namaste. Mm -hmm.